I used to watch an unsubbed. Subscribe, will ya? Welcome back to another video in our WordPress um, plugin tutorial series. In the last video, we uh, I thanked you all for reaching 100 subs, which I do again. And uh, in this video, well, in the last one, sorry, we actually created this uh, in, these button system, right, for our importation, our renewal, and deleting of all our uh, YouTube videos that we import. And uh, if you're following up to this point, you already have the code for uh, importing YouTube videos. I kind of already uh, released this code. And then also uh, followed along about how we created the uh, uh, forms to submit all these buttons back to their own page. You know, if we click import, this will have an action of import. If we click renew, an action of renew and delete will have an action of, you guessed it, delete. Right, but now we need to make them do something. Another thing is I want to make a little trick, like uh, success, like a little status box right here that says, you successfully imported, you successfully deleted all, you renewed. And actually, we're going to focus on import and delete in this video. We're not going to focus on renew in this video because renew is a little more complicated than the rest. It requires us to compare the videos being imported up against what we already have and then, uh, and then determine... Um, if new videos are posted. And really the easiest way to do this uh, is not to compare every video against what you have. It's a waste of time. And you could do that. I mean, you can, like, there's a million ways to program the same thing, right? Uh, like my old programming teacher used to say, you could skin the cat a million bazillion ways. But what the easiest thing to do really would be is to get the most, uh, look at through all the videos in the database that we currently have for one that has the post dates. Remember, when we're gathering from YouTube, we can get the post dates of the videos. Um, published at and we can find the most recently published one and then we can look at all the videos published at that are uh, being that we're trying to import in the renew list and only um, add ones to the database that have a published at date more recent than the most recent one in our database so that's kind of like what we're going to do there but that's going to take a little more coding right so I'm just going to skip over that for today but import and delete is what we're going to focus on okay so back into here, right back into where we already have our YouTube stuff set up down here. We're actually going to uncomment all of this and release the Kraken on this code. All right. First things first, we need to get the action. Remember, this is important. We need to determine is the action set? Oh, it is. Then we need to figure out what it says, and then we need to do something based on that. So we start by saying get the import action. Or not the import action, sorry. Just get the action. <laughs> I'm already assuming it's import. If is set, and we're looking for uh, a get variable, not action. I don't know what I'm doing. Get variable action. If it is set, set the variable. Set the action. And we want to create a new function called. Uh, Let's just call it the action. And it equals our get variable, which is our action. And now we have the action variable, so we'll determine if it says import or whatever. And we can actually uh, create it outside the box if we wanted to, so that we don't get a uh, is set problem below. Meaning like if we go to assess the variable below and there's nothing in it, the heck, and there's nothing in it, like right here we can just say um, initialize the variable and just make it blank and I'll show you why. Okay, so that way it's already set if we go to assess it down here. Alright, so now we're going to say right here, this is all the code for the import, right? Beyond this point, the code we originally wrote, so we say this code runs on import action. Now one way you could also separate these, I actually do this a lot in Visual, um, Visual Basic when I'm writing in um, .NET code, is I'll actually do it like this to separate blocks. This is probably old school, but whatever. And then in here a lot of times I'll say uh, end import action block. <laughs> I know this is probably a weird way to comment that you haven't seen before. This is like old school VB6 style, and then uh, and then this is our import action. But we haven't wrote, uh, wrote any if statement for this, so we need to say if the action equals. Remember, it's two equals by the way. One equals will make it equal to that. Import. And then you want to delete the second squirrely bracket. We'll try to create one by default. 
put another one here. All right, and now as you can see, we have a successful, and we can actually push all of this code in with a tab if it makes you, if it makes it a little easier to read as well. Right, we can actually tab it in a few times. Okay, now as you can see, we have everything inside of the import action being called successfully right here. Now when we set our other option, we're actually going to call some options here. Like you see how the max results equals one here. I'm actually going to make this equal to five. To five. That's the amount of videos it's pulling in from the results. And we're going to include five in here in this particular example because we're just calling from Motor Trend uh, because they update videos all the time. Uh, anyway, so that's our import function. So now when our import runs, it's going to run this. Well, I actually want to set another variable. Let's call this... Uh, and I'm half tempted to make it like a boolean, like a true or false. Uh, let's just say this. And if we were doing camel casing and we were making really actual, like, proper code variables, we'd call it, like, something like this. And then let's just make this false. So this is now a boolean variable. And this is to determine if the user imported. Right. And here's what I mean by that. Once the user has imported, they've, got, they've done a for each and everything's in the database. At this point right here, at the very last item, or we could do it on each item, it doesn't really matter, it's just gonna keep setting the variable to true, which like I said, doesn't really matter. If something is being imported, meaning that there's a for each and it is successful, and right here, see it's trying to output uh, image, uh, where we don't need that code anymore, that was just test code, and we'll actually get rid of it in the final output. Right here, inside of the loop, capture the ID of the post, and what it's doing is adding all of its data. I actually showed all this before, so you can go back and learn uh, what this is doing. We can say set the import to true. I'm going to show you why we're doing this. This uh, type of programming here, by the way, when you do three lowercase and a high uppercase, it's called camel casing. Uh, and I, it's usually how I write variables. So a lot of my variables you see that I'm writing are just kind of up in the air, willy-nilly type. But usually I would camel case everything. So BLN import equals true. Now, this is uh, letting us know that the variable, that it has imported something. Okay, that's why I just did this. And we're doing that because in the very end of this, when we have a uh, output block that tells us what action was successfully taken, how do you think it's going to know what to display? It's going to say, is BLN import true? Oh, then that means the user has imported something. So what I want you to do is output a success message of import. And we could even say it's, a, it's successfully loaded X amount of videos. Like we could say, get the count of the items in the video list. And then say, you successfully imported count number of videos. Do you see what I'm saying? So we're just kind of doing some good housekeeping ahead of our future self to say, hey, future self, this is the variable you can use to let us know you imported something. All right. Easy enough. Because so now we already have a successful, uh, we have a successful import running of a YouTube uh, video, uh, like a list of videos of five videos that are going to be under our WP10 Y vids post type. It's going to insert it and then it's going to get the result, which is the ID, and then it's going to add all of the post meta and then it's going to loop into the next video. Okay? And this was in back in the video, which was uh, how to add YouTube vids as custom post types if you need to go back and reference that. So that concludes our import action block, and that was pretty simple, right? Right. Now we're going to create a new block. And in fact, what I'll probably do is just steal these from right here. And this is the is set action. It's just setting the action. So the action is going to equal whatever we send through. So we can say this code runs on the delete action. And we're going to put that in there. Give that a little space. And we're going to say if the action equals equals delete we're gonna delete <laughs> we're gonna delete everything delete all videos with our custom post type this code is easy enough I'll show you right now in order to uh, delete all of the posts all we have to do is loop through our database of existing posts that uh, have the post type that we set and then delete all of those and that's actually pretty simple code we're going to make a variable that uh, is a get post response. It's going to contain all of our posts. And we're going to do that just like this. So let's just call this um, WP uh, vid posts or something like that, or all all WP vid posts or something. I'm just going to say all 
WP vid post is equal to get uh, get posts, not just post, and then it's going to have an argument array. And the first argument, and we're actually going to set this as an, uh, an array in here of arguments. I'll show you what I mean right now. We're going to end that line, and we're going to open another. Well, no, we're not actually going to go array, and then open up another set. All right. The first argument is going to be it's going to want is the post type. So right here we're going to say post type and then we're going to say we want to be uh, I'm pretty sure we called our thing WP10Y vids and that was our custom video or our custom post type and then the next uh, argument we're going to give it is the number uh, of posts uh, to delete in this case we want it to be all uh, so I don't know if I want to give it a maximum or a number cap. Um, well, in this case, I'm just going to put a, a, a high number on it. I, I wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do, but let's just say number posts and let's make that, um, let's just say a hundred. I don't have a hundred posts obviously, but I'm just going to make sure that it gets everything that I import. I'm only importing five videos at a time right now. And now what we need to do is create a for each loop through and delete all the posts. So now we're going to create a for each loop and we're going to loop through the, you guessed it, all WP vid posts and we're going to treat them as each or as WP or like, um, let's just call them each post. All right. Now we have a loop. Here's how you do this. You just create a WP delete post action. WP delete and then underscore post. And then it's going to ask you for uh, the ID of the post. And you just say each post get the ID. Uh, actually, it's all caps, I believe. And then set it to true. All right. So we're deleting that post. And that's that. So believe it or not, we just successfully created a deletion, <laughs> a mass deletion for all of the posts that can currently contain that. Now, one thing is we wanted to do is we wanted to set our um, Boolean and we can create uh, a couple different Booleans. We also could have created this as a text, as a action or um, a like, a, say another something that was different than a boolean like just a text field or something and then said like import success or like delete success and it was one variable versus three but just for the case of this tutorial i'm going to do another one bln delete and it's going to equal false this is determine if the user deleted you get where this is going don't you we actually need a Oh my lord. Alright. This is going to equal to true. Emmet is just... Alright. Much better. So now we have it equal to true. And so now we know if we've deleted or if we have imported. Let's go ahead and create our final output block. which is, Or our, our success field. Output user action completed. So here's what we're going to do now we're going to say we're going to create a quick if statement that says if bln imported I keep forgetting to put this on it bln import equals true now remember it's it's two equals then what we're going to do is we're going to output this now one quick way to do this or one slick way is to close the tags and then reopen the tags and everything in between here is going to be outputted as regular HTML. So that'll help you out quite a bit. Instead of having to echo out a bunch of HTML, that's one way to do it. So let's just make a div. Uh, I wanted to make it full width, I think. But at this moment, we're just going to do basic styling on it. I could have used Emmet for this, too. Let's just make an H2. An H2 sounds good. And we'll style this up to look much, much better obviously but I just wanted to show you an example of how how this uh, system is gonna work the basics 
Because you can obviously do a lot of styling on your own too for how to make things look the way you want them. Now let's say else if. Is it else if or else if? I'm trying to remember in. I think it's together in uh, PHP. Some languages it's like this, some languages it's like this. Okay, if BLN import or BLM or BLN delete is equal to uh, true. We don't need that. Then we're going to do the same exact thing. We're going to close the PHP and then we're going to open the PHP. We're just going to paste the same thing in. And then we're going to go do a couple of tests. You have successfully deleted videos from the database. That should do it. We, we should have, be able to have that run uh, as is and it should work just fine. So let's just check it out. All right, so let's do an import. It's going to say you successfully imported videos from YouTube. We successfully added five new videos. Now we're going to delete them. There you go. Successfully deleted them from the database. And we know this code is working. We could also do some output, I mean some uh, database checking like we could go through. We could have it scan the database for any posts that are WP10Y vid types and then give us a count in the deleted if we wanted to check that out. We could also just go to our posts in our PHP my admin and go to WP posts under our database and check to see if there's any do a search with WP10 Y vids and determine if they've been deleted. But as you can see, we're now successfully giving ourselves a message. We could create a background on this for the color, like, uh, you know, the, uh, anything you want, because now each one has their own div and styling. So you could say uh, class equals and then go right back to bootstrap, go right back to alerts, and then give it a success alert, just like this. Now it's going to be a success alert. And then the delete, we could make it say like, uh, make it a warning, right? Let's just do that. Even though if we wanted to keep the colors uh, consistent with their buttons, we could do this. Now let's head back. Back to the import. It's not going to say anything because there's no action. Let's run an import. All right. And also, this is the full width. Remember how I said it kind of looks different with the full width? kind of pushes things to the far right, and then when we do 100% width, it brings it in. We could do 100% width on this, too. So now let's do delete. All right. That was just kind of a quick overview on uh, importing. I mean, creating a little... We created a little box that showed the user what was going on, and then we also... Uh, opened up our get functions or our get variables based on what the button the user clicked. We created some boolean variables, we got the action, and then we ran some code, and then we ran a delete block. And uh, that was pretty much it. And by the way, number of posts, you can set this to whatever you want. Uh, I think if you leave it out, it does all. I can't remember for sure if you leave it null if it does all. I'm trying to remember. But then WP delete post wants the ID, and uh, and that's going to be it. I mean, that's really all it's going to do. It's just going to run through and delete all your posts that have the custom post type. And uh, and then set yourself a variable. And then you can do whatever you want with the user messaging as far as telling them, hey, this is a success. This is not a success. And we could do this to post, you guys. We could do this to 100 different ways. For anybody out there, it's like, hey, I would want to do it a different way. You absolutely could. This is just a, another way to do it, a simple way using get. Anyway, that's going to wrap us up. Uh, these last tutorials have been a little longer than 10 minutes. That's because this stuff's really hard to cram into a 10-minute block. A lot of it is. but and it's a very advanced topic for a 10-minute block. Uh, in the next video, I think what we're going to do is we're going to maybe go back to the other page and initialize our settings for how many videos we want to display and our type. And then that way we can actually do that in the importer call. So, in, or we can actually, not in the importer call, sorry, we can actually start to make a short code for the output and start to style it up and then create a short code for the user to actually display their videos on the front of the site. And, uh, and this thing will actually start to come to life and be an actual functional uh, plugin. So, anyway, as always, subscribe, will ya? And comment if you need any help. As always, I'm here uh, and I'll try my best to help you based on what you show me or what you need help with. And go ahead and give this video a like, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.